Good morning, sixth grade. So this video is for Wednesday, April 15th. Um, I'm going to quickly go over your schedule and what you guys have to do for today. Um, and then I'm going to, again, continue to go over the spheres and uh, more information about the different spheres. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So really quick, going over your schedule for today. So as I add stuff, you guys have to find it. So I did just add this, um, Earth Spheres for Kids. Um, I'm, I think I also post, I did, I'm gonna, I did it as a post as well. Um, and I'm gonna use it in my video today as well because um, uh, I don't want to confuse you based on uh, my instructional videos from yesterday and the day before and what versus what study jam says because it is all the same correct information but that's why I have uh, this as well it's not a video it's a uh, it's an article that you have to read but it's short it's really easy it gives a good explanation of the different spheres um, okay so the schedule So for today, when it comes up, you guys will watch my instructional video. You're going to watch Crash, Crash Course Kids Part 1, which is in the folders. I'm going to also put it as a post. And um, where you have a, um, an interactive activity on Pearson, it's called Quest Check Interactive Activity, Fire and Earth Spheres. And you're going to do that and our Zoom meeting, we will be doing um, quizzes and we will also do, just for fun, we'll go over the quiz from the Test Yourself for the Scholastic um, from Study Gems. So this is your schedule for Wednesday. And remember, scroll all the way down and here is Crash Course Kids Part One. Tomorrow is part, or today, for Wednesday is part one, and uh, Thursday will be part two. So I'm gonna move over to our slideshow over here. So this is gonna go over the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Um, it's going to give, so the lithosphere isn't something that I previously mentioned. The lithosphere actually has to do with the geosphere. Um, sometimes the geosphere is referred to as the lithosphere. Um, but as I uh, start my slideshow, then you guys will have a better understanding, and I'm just going to briefly go over it uh, using that article that I also posted and found. Um, so the lithosphere is all of the rock on Earth, and the hydrosphere is all of the water on Earth. The last one is the atmosphere, the layers of gas surrounding the Earth. So when I went over the atmosphere for yesterday's video, it talked about different parts of the atmosphere. So there's different parts of the geosphere, which includes the lithosphere. So Earth is made up of three major layers, the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. The only thing they're missing is the biosphere, and the biosphere is the living part, which you, me, animals, plants. Um, but it's talking about really what Earth itself is made up of because Earth is the water, which is the hydrosphere, the land, which is the lithosphere, and the atmosphere, which is the gases that surround us. Earth has a solid layer that is mostly covered by water and is surrounded by gases. These layers interact with each other, which causes the conditions and resources found on Earth. The lithosphere is the rocky solid layer, outer layer of Earth. It is about 1,000 kilometers thick. This layer includes soil and other resources we need for survival. So the lithosphere is the part of the geosphere that we see. Everything else that's part of the geosphere is underneath the ground that we do not see. 
like the core and the mantle and the parts of the inner parts of the earth. The top of the lithosphere is the rocky crust. The lithosphere is the thinnest under is thinnest under the oceans and thickest at the at the continents. So meaning when it's on the land, it could be pretty thick, which would include mountains because mountains are thick um, rock. The hydrosphere consists of all Earth's water. Over 70% of Earth is covered by water, and 97% of that water is found in the oceans. Ocean water is salty because of all the minerals that have been deposited over the years. You can see how much of this map is covered in blue, which represents water. So pretty much, I mean, this part's white, that part's white because it's frozen. And the frozen part, remember, is the cryosphere. They're not talking about the cryosphere in here because the cryosphere is actually part of the hydrosphere. Did you know that water is a heat absorber? It is because the temperature of water changes more slowly than the temperatures of land. The ocean keeps temperatures on Earth from changing too severely. The atmosphere is made up of layers of gases that surround gases surrounding Earth. The outer layers of the atmosphere protect Earth from the harmful radiation of the sun. You know you can get sunburned like the man if you aren't careful. So they're showing the redness of his skin and this part's white from his watch. That's what happens to my face when I'm in the sun too long. Oh, I skipped one. Okay. And the last side, oh. the troposphere, the troposphere of, or one or the layer of gases closest to Earth contains the oxygen that organisms on Earth need to live. It is also the layer where almost all weather occurs. Here, you can see the orange colored troposphere. The outer atmosphere is blue. So this part, the very close layer, is the troposphere, and then the outer layer up here is that blue part. So there's a couple of different layers of the atmosphere. Um, you don't need to know um, all of the layers of the atmosphere. You just need to know what the atmosphere is. Okay, so during our Zoom meeting, I will go over the test yourself with you guys, um, and we will also do the quizzes for um, Crash Course Kids 1. So make sure you watch the first one. Um, so it talks about the four spheres. It talks about geosphere, biosphere, hydrosphere, and um, the atmosphere. The first video is just about the geosphere and the biosphere. So make sure you only watch that one for, to, uh, for today. And then for Thursday, you're gonna watch the second one. Okay, that's about it. So this video seemed to be pretty short. Um, if you guys are watching this from the, from the YouTube video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can make me feel cool. All right, bye, see you in our Zoom meeting.